Create a web bot. Bot creation is the name of the game when using AtBot. You can create as many custom branded bots as you'd like on the AtBot platform. There are two types of bots, web bots and enterprise bots. In this video, we're going to cover web bots. Web bots are those chat bots you deploy to a public website or web portal through SMS texting and even to Amazon Alexa. Web bots are especially useful for customer service, tech support, and sending notifications. Users of web bots are not authenticated through Office 365, so these bots typically see users as anonymous, though you can still make use of login information in permission-protected but public web portals. Think of a banking portal or parent portal at a school, but we'll cover that in a later session. Creating the bot is one of the few at bot actions that requires access to the Azure portal. You simultaneously create the bot in the at bot admin portal and the Azure portal. Connect the two items, and from then on, you can manage the bot right from the AtBot portal without the need for going back to Azure. So let's get started. To set the stage, you'll want to open both the Azure portal at portal.azure.com and the AtBot admin portal at admin.atbot.io. Have each open in its own tab. You'll be copying some information between the two over the course of this process. Let's start in the AtBot admin portal. To create our bot, we'll click Bot Management from the navigation pane, then select Web Bots. Click New Web Bot and give your bot a name. Once you create the bot in the AtBot admin portal, you'll have only a little information about that bot, but one of the things is critical. You'll want to copy the messaging endpoint that's listed under the Bot Framework Registration tab. This URL needs to be used in Azure. Now let's jump to the Azure portal. Click Create a New Resource, then search the word Bot and select Bot Channels Registration from the suggestions. Create a new Bot Channels Registration. Give your bot a similar name to the one you used in the AtBot admin portal, though note that your handle of choice might be taken. And don't worry, we can update the display name later. Select your Azure Subscription and Resource group, then paste the messaging endpoint you copied from the AtBot admin portal. Click Create. It may take a few minutes for your registration to deploy. You can click the notification pane to show status. Once your bot is deployed, click Go to Resource. The first thing you'll want to do is enable the direct line channel to ensure you can test your bot in the AtBot admin portal. Click Channels, then Configure Direct Line Channel. Click to show either of the direct line keys and copy it. Jump back to the AtBot admin portal and paste that text into the direct line key field. With this, you'll be able to test the bot using the Test and Embed button at the bottom of the page. Jumping back to the Azure portal, we need to grab your bot registration's app ID and app secret. Click Overview, then the name of the resource group. On the next page, click Deployments and select the one that matches your bot's name. Now click Inputs, and among the fields that are displayed are the app ID and the app secret. Click the blue box next to the app ID to copy it. Paste it in the app ID field in the AtBot admin portal, and now do the same for the app secret. Now we can click Save Bot. Next, let's add an icon to the bot. You'll have to do this in both the Azure portal and the AtBot admin portal. In the Azure portal, click the name of the bot in the breadcrumb, then click Settings. Select to upload a custom icon and choose your file. 96 pixel square, PNG works best. Then, update the display name in Azure to match the name in the AtBot admin portal. Click Save. We're all done with Azure now. In the AtBot admin portal, upload the icon there as well. And let's update the welcome message so we can test the bot and see something other than the default inputs. Click Save Bot. Now click Test and Embed. You can see the new welcome message we just added. Anything you say will come back with a default message. As of now, the bot is working as expected, and it's time to build out some skills and connect a Q&A Maker knowledge base. 